Huh? Hours. Yeah, I, I was here early this morning and there was only two troopers here. I think they might have seen through the window that there's people inside. Okay. That's what I was hearing, but I also got here like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I was here probably about uh, at first light. Well, they had the roads blocked off oh, wow. all night, and then they, you know, got rid of the uh, roads, and then, um, and then they had just had two troopers here. I did not see all of this.
so JLR investigates I am out on the scene I'm on Barrett Road and authorities are now searching the uh, looks like a trailer property of um, affiliated with Craig Ross I believe that his mom lives here Joan Ross and uh, Charlotte was brought here Charlotte was brought here to this location you saw uh, hazmat teams taking pictures neighbors authorities uh over there talking to neighbors questioning who is this craig ross guy who is this craig ross guy why did he bring um charlotte nine years old to this location here uh this is about a 20 minute drive or so from the park um where Charlotte was snatched Saturday, a uh, little after uh, 6 p.m. Amber Alert was issued the next day. Authorities came out in mass searching for this little girl. Hundreds and hundreds of law enforcement. The governor of the state of New York got involved. This guy, uh, Craig, got arraigned in the town of Milton, not too far from this location here. This is very remote. It's Barrett Road, it's very remote. Cell phone service is very spotty out here. He got arraigned, no bond, no bond. First degree kidnapping charges. What in the world is going on uh, with this case? Why did Craig do it? Maybe he and Terry, maybe the authorities got some information out of him. Maybe he lawyered up. We don't know, um, but it's a fluid situation i'm out here covering this case covering this tragedy subscribe to my channel like hit the notification button i am jlr investigates i'll keep you informed of what's going on in saratoga county praying for charlotte's family praying for these law enforcement everyone inside this home searching and then there's a somebody stopped here i just want to film and document we will talk soon JLR investigates praying for Charlotte and her family You moving back? She said in the vehicle that she has medications in the trailer. 